We're Specialty Productions and this is our project update for January 2015. Here we share news and tips as we work on our first independent production, The Last Red. This month, with the cloth and hair sim for the first shot group done, we've been working on the set for the next shot group. In this part of the story, our hero Daniel has been finding shelter from the monsters in an apartment of a fellow survivor, Lisa. In modeling the apartment, we needed to make it feel dirty and lived in. Lisa has boarded herself up in the apartment, so we needed to make things look like garbage and laundry piling up. On top of that, Lisa needed to create improvised barricades using materials around the apartment. So we modeled boards to look like cheap particle board from the kind of bookshelves we would get at a common department store. One of the challenges we've had is how to make things look worn without spending hours on every prop. One of the most valuable tools in our arsenal for doing that is Dedu by Quicksome. And that brings us to this month's Quick and Dirty. Dedu needs some maps to work right. At a minimum, it needs a tangent space and an object space normal map. If you want to make it a color map, remember to give it only base colors as Dedu reads them as material assignments. If you need something like a logo, or in our case a wood grain texture, don't worry. That will add at the end. We used X normal to generate our maps. The easiest way to run Dedu is to load up the maps and then load up one of the Dedu presets. Find the one that best matches your object in your scene. You can go in and pick your own filters, but I found it quicker to run a preset and then remove what I didn't need after. The end result is a well-organized Photoshop file. You could do some edits from Dedu at this point, but I prefer to unzip the file and edit directly in Photoshop. Basically, every effect is a procedural texture with a mask. Say you have an area with a lot of scratches that don't look right to you. Simply paint them out in the mask. Have a layer that doesn't work for you? Say in our case, we have a rust layer in our wooden dresser. Delete or hide the layer. Tweak the layer properties and visibility until you get the look you want. Under all this, we'll add our wood grain texture, all the Dedu stuff, and we'll layer up on the top. Remember, Dedu is a tool for an artist, not a replacement for one. We've seen some bad examples of Dedu where people have simply clicked on the button and called it done. While Dedu is a great program, it is just a program. If it gets us 80% of the way, we consider it doing its job and the artist does the rest. Was that too fast? No worries, we'll have more detailed tutorial coming shortly. Click on the last red logo to subscribe for more updates and we'll see you next month.